The slice command enables you to cut solid models into two pieces as if you had a digital saw. Each portion becomes a new independent solid model, which can be further edited. You can choose where to make the cut and whether to keep one or both portions. Once the model has been sliced, you can also reposition or delete either portion. The key to making a successful slice is the positioning of the cutting plane. There are several methods available for you to do this. You can position the origin of the UCS on the desired slice location and use one of the three primary planes as a cutting plane. You can choose a point on the model and make a slice through that point parallel to any plane or face on the model. You can select three points to define the cutting plane. If you use a cutting plane, the slice passes all the way through the selected objects. The cutting plane is infinite in size. You can use a surface object to slice a portion of the model away, for instance, slicing out one quarter of a circular model. You can also use a non-planar surface to create a sculpted face on a solid. You can select one or more models in an assembly and cut them all at once, but you can only define one cutting plane. The cutting plane passes all the way through the selected solid models. There may be design conditions where it is easier for you to build a model with the intention of slicing it to achieve the desired result. Consider a semicircular part. It may be an easier approach for you to create a circular part and slice it in half rather than to begin by making a semicircular part. Another use would be non circular symmetrical or mirrored parts. It may be easier to create one model with symmetrical features and slice it in half on a plane of symmetry. The slice command is a powerful modeling tool and it is important for you to know how to use it.